<laughs> hey world guys, it's Fisher and welcome back to some Fallout Samurai and, and um, it's been a while but I think it is time, I think it is time to get her out again. Uh, I showed you her in a preview of Fall of the Samurai but I think, I think the time has come to unleash the Ironclad Warrior class. So I'm going to go ahead and buy her, she's going to cost me 1800 to upkeep but she's going to be so worth it. Let's have a quick look at her again. She has 42 guns, a whole strength of a thousand, and a cannon range of 800. So that pretty much outranges most ships, apart from uh, the smaller ships with uh, which has like uh, the smaller ironclads, which has a thousand range. So yeah, she's gonna take five turns to build. So she's gonna be a beast when she comes out. Um, and it's only gonna take my tax down a little bit, so that's absolutely fine. She's probably try and reduce the unhappiness here by doing something at some point um, but yeah everything else is going well um, I didn't show you the siege um, I, I just took this place because I don't know there wasn't a real no need to show you it um, because I just went in there slaughtered everyone and uh, left uh, the Obama finally decided they wanted to have a piece of a war and they've, they've come in with quite a quite an alright actual army um, quite pro like quite um, surprised to see they actually have a nice army, there's some nice sharpshooters here but um, that's going to hold there, I'm sure they can hold off and I've obviously also got my elite army here which is just insane because the cannons just kill everything and I'm also, um, I've got this ironclad uh, baby here which is your flagship online and all my fleet is just amazing but yeah now um, I'm not sure if you guys are excited but uh, now I've got that bad boy uh, warrior class on the go. She's my artillery bombardments are going to be insane. Let's just add so many more cannons and shells. Uh, yeah, so we have the money to do it. So I thought, why the fuck not? The Obama are getting closer, so I'm going to have to try and move my army. I'm not sure if they can get there in time, actually, uh, looking at it. So I'm going to do a valiant uh, uh, defense. But we'll have a look. We'll have a look. And it's like uh, the, the clan up here is losing, actually. Oh, shit, they've got quite a few units. That's not too great. It's not too great at all. We need to sort that bad boy out. Go in and kill everyone, that's what we need to do. Um, so yeah, we need to select all, apart from... Oh no, I can't, I can't, let's do them separately. Apart from that unit. Are they still happy? Just about, just about happy. So that is all good. Um, this army can then start it and make its way over. I'll use my ships to... Uh, can we not reach? We'll just have to bombard that. Even though it failed, there's so few of them. There's like four cannons. <laughs> so, yeah, there's so few of them. But, yeah, well, hopefully this army will come and get us. He's quite a high general as well. He's level three, which isn't bad. Not bad at all. Um, getting this to increase my daimyo's uh, loyalty. I mean, the loyalty of my men, uh, my generals. Because I was looking, and it's not exactly great. Um, if I look at it, I'll show you guys. It's not brilliant. Oh, here we go. I'm going to have to make my decision to uh, seem to become a republic, which will absolutely fuck me. Um, yeah, so I've got, like, they're not great. I mean, his loyalty is awful. But I can give, start giving people some good commissions now. Have I got that as a commission yet? Is he, what, what's he my commissioner of? Is he that? I'm not sure, because it doesn't have the money behind it. But I'm sure it is that. Have I got someone as my uh, chief of staff? Uh, he'll probably become a bit more loyal. Yeah, I guess I'll give him that. That's everyone apart from my commander in chief. So I guess that'll become one of my this dude probably eventually. Um, I can kick from office if I wanted to. I'm confused what just happened. If I just do a switcheroo. Oh, it looks a bit they did. Um, so yeah, that's all cool. We got a lot of money to spend. We're putting the boost to the, uh, the defenses here actually. Uh, let's recruit some line infantry, and that should be enough to hold it really. I think. Uh, we can now recruit some infantry from here as well, but now I'm getting my warrior class, I'm not going to have as much money as I once had, so I want to really try and boost the uh, my income a little bit, because that's almost built, which is nice, the farm fields there. If I can, I want to try and increase my income just a little bit, um, not really through farms, I want to do an inn or a factory. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, craft workshop, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine. Um, and what we got here, an inn or a market, a uh, gambling den. That'll get me the most money and keep people happy. Um, 
yeah, so that's, that's cool. Let's see what they do. They'll probably try and besiege that, and if so, we defend it to the last man. And if they if they don't try and do it, then we attack them next turn. Pretty much. I think I've got a strong advantage. Yeah, here they come. Are they actually going to besiege it, or are they just going to continue? It'd be smart for them to besiege it. Um, but yeah, I think we can. Holy moly, they got a lot of troops. Um, we've actually got quite good odds as well of, of like holding them off. But yeah, let's go ahead and fight this bad boy. We have a lot of rifles, so we should. I don't know. I think we have a good chance, because they don't actually have many melee troops. So I think we have a good chance. But even if they take it, I'll, I'll give them enough casualties so that my next army can literally just sit back and like just destroy them with cannon fire. And oh, I just can't wait. Tell me if you're excited about getting the warrior class out. Because when I become Republic, I'm going to need to have that uh, strong ship leading my uh, navy. Because I'm going to be getting attacked from every single angle. And I'm probably going to push back to Tosa with everyone declaring war on me. But um, I'll try. I'll try my best to try and keep people happy with me. Because I'm not sure how bad it is when you turn Republic. If you've done that and you've decided to go Republic instead of Imperial or Shogun it. Please tell me how bad it actually is. Um, like, is it like Realm Divide where everyone declares war on you, even if you like 200 friendship with them, or is it not as bad? Is it just like, yeah, people are pissed off with you, but they won't declare war on you straight away? Um, so yeah, please tell me about that, and I'll be much appreciated. Because if it is Republic, I'll, I'll do it because Will will challenge me to do it. But I might have to turn the difficulty back down to hard, or I would just have to. Um, yeah, or I'll just have to lose it. Because obviously I'm going to do it, but whether I can do it well is another matter. So yeah, what we got? We got all them lined up, which is cool. We've got some more infantry down here. I'm not sure what way they're coming from, but let's just nonetheless stick them along here. What else we got? Some more rifles. And some more rifles here. They can come down. I don't really want to have the top layer straight away. I want to make sure that the bottom layer is completely secure first. And then I can retreat back or just reform. So as long as the bottom layer is absolutely done. Okay, that's lovely. We can then turn around two units here. Actually, they're reinforcements. What way are they coming from? That's the only thing I have to worry about, thinking about it. And bring my spears up. Uh, yeah, well, I'll need to check what way their reinforcements are coming from. And, uh, yeah, if I check that and they're not, it's not too bad, then I should be absolutely fine. I should be laughing. Uh, let's get these up here. So they're coming just around here, so I need to keep these here, really. These can all go. All their cannons are doing a bit of damage. There's so many of them. Oh no. Well, he shall hold his ground. The wooden cannons aren't great, but they're still going to be doing the damage, which is going to be a, a, be a bit annoying. Oh, they're not even. It doesn't barely even reach this. So these rifles can really just get up here. With Along with these, these rifles can get up here. And then as soon as they get on the top layer, we can just start volleying down upon them. So yeah, that's absolutely fine. The cannons firing, I'm not liking. I had a lot big, better chance of winning if I was defending. Oh my god, they're taking a pounding though, just from cannons. I know the cannons aren't great, but they're still doing the damage. I might replace them out. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's replace them out. I don't want them to take the cannon fire. Oh, sad times. Actually, no, get back in there. Hopefully they'll stop now that's done. Yeah, it looks like they are just hitting the cannon. I mean, the tower. Let's hope, at least. Have they mounted up this wall yet? Well, you should be mounting up that wall, boys. Where are my elite line infantry? Where are you? Over here. Okay, you need to be in that gap. I guess I'll stick you in that gap. I should probably replace them. Like, with this, replace this unit with this unit, but I oh will. Got all my riflemen up here as well. How can, how far can they shoot? They can start shooting there, which will be very nice. Um, you're not even needed there at all, and you're a nice unit of line infantry. I want to try to get you guys up here. Is there room up there to get you guys in? Oh, we're doing some more damage to him. Here we go. The volleys start.
That would be a nice combo on them and the second line should start firing soon as well. But yeah, they're good there shooting now. Come on, the second line, get ready to fire, boys. I'm not sure if they actually will vote. Are they going to start climbing as well? Because they'll probably end up routing if they start climbing. Will the second line shoot? The second wall? No, I guess so, but it's, yeah, it's probably not enough. Like, aim downwards for them to do it. Don't be having a little melee off now on my general. Which I should technically win, but who knows. It's just a suicide here, and I've got my spears here as well, so my spears should be able to defeat them. It's just that stack I'm fucking worried about. Oh, so many men. Ugh. Yeah, I think I've most certainly lost this. There's little I can really do. Oh, if only, I, if only my artillery was in range, I probably should have thought about that. How are we doing against them? Not great. Spears are ready to engage. There's no point really bringing back my rifles because one unit of spears is not going to be able to hold up all of that. So I need my rifles here. And my my generals are actually doing quite well against this unit. As well, they're only not really they're only running at us, but still. If I had an artillery bombardment, I could wipe out a lot of this and then a lot of this. That's really that's really what is putting a dampener on my level of success. Oh, come on! There, we, no. Oh, we gotta get it. charge. <laughs> there we go. Get our spears in. We just need to try and win these armies as much as we can. I mean, we still got another another fucking load of units up here, which will start shooting. And hopefully we can actually hold them off here. Because, I mean, as soon as they get up here, we've got quite a few units ready here. That's the only thing I need to worry about. Is that general units could be getting pounded now. Let's switch them out for this unit. But we get we get some nice little volleys off here as well. But yeah, I'm going to bring back this general unit. So, I mean, if I can hold up this army, I can, I can defeat this. And so my spears should go to town on them. So, yeah, let's switch, give them a, a nice little switcheroo. Move out my general unit before he actually dies, and get him actually in range of all these as well. So that should support um, them even more. Can I kneel fire with these lads, or I can't kneel fire them when they're in combat? I mean, when they're when they're all at her a little bit, I took down a lot of men. Them wooden cannons, bro. But yeah, we're starting to do the damage on them. At least killing quite a few. That's all that matters. What, what cannons do I actually have? Do I just have wooden cannons? Oh no, these are the things which are killing me, the uh, paragons. They're the things which are doing the damage. No! Can stop for. Oh, what? This unit is just chilling here. <laughs> what a bunch of bams. Go get involved, lads! There's a lot of dead here. Just look along here. There's so much death. It's both you, both people as well. I've lost quite a few men as well. The levies are gonna do a nice little switcheroo. Got some nice line infantry doing the damage there. This unit's just not doing anything. There's not enough room for it to do anything. And so is that. I could probably have used them down on this floor really to help try blockade some uh, points. Of access. Get him on Neil Fire as well, and we shall just volley into them. Oh, I need to be off Neil Fire because they're facing the wrong way. And I'll stick him on Neil Fire. But yeah, we've we've done enough. Like we still. Oh my God! You imagine artillery bombardment here? It's ridiculous. Why well, don't I have it? So that's probably my biggest mistake. I think I could have won this if I would have had it. And they're actually all reloading, so as soon as it comes, as soon as this unit routes, I should volley into them. But yeah, it's not looking too great right now. All that general unit's just sort of chilling by itself, looking quite cool. 
looking up. Yeah, it looks quite cool. Oh, actually holding and doing reasonably well. I guess the, the volleys from here are helping out a lot. Yeah, we pretty much defeated one army. Well, no we haven't at all. <laughs> There's still loads of them left, but we'll, we'll speed it up. We don't want this to take forever. But that does look quite cool. Was there some dude with a massive spear? What's he doing? Just sort of chilling. But yeah, that does look quite cool. My general units as well. As soon as this levy goes, I should get ready to start volleying. And give volley after volley. But there's still so many of them, it's going to be very hard to actually manage to do anything. But still, nonetheless, we shall hold to the last man. Oh, we're actually starting to hit him now as well. Let me, let me play? Let me play, yeah. There we go. Yeah, he's just starting to shoot now. Oh, there's just one. Oh, there's a few of our riflemen which decided to come at me. And then they died. Oh, yeah, we're starting to do the damage on them now. Pour hot lead into them. This is a last line of G unit, which is good. That levy's holding its ground, though, which I quite like. It is standing and fighting. I, could, I think I could have been a lot more efficient with my uh, positioning of units, and I think that probably would have turn the tides a little for me. I need to be getting the... why don't they select them? There they go. I need to be getting their melee on, lads. And they need to shoot... are they retreating or what? Oh no, I'm not quite sure what they're doing. Oh, this unit is now starting to volley the hell into it. And my general with his revolver is going to town. Oh, if only all of them shot, that'd be so nice. Do they need me to support them here? Yeah, not quite yet. Oh, so much dead, it just hurts. Why aren't they shooting? Shoot! You gonna shoot by yourself, or do I have to tell you? There we go. Thank you. That was a couple seconds of not volleying, and I think they're gonna, they're gonna fall now. This, these, this unit needs to get into, into supporting now as well. Give it a little bit of an aid. No, you're on nil fire. You can't move. You shouldn't be able to move. You're on nil fire. Just volley them. There we go. That's what we'd like to see. That's what we'd like to see indeed. What have they actually got left? Not much. They've still got a massive bulk here, but if I can flank it with, this, uh, with my general unit here, that would be very good, actually. They're starting to push me over here, but I can I can reinforce them with this unit very easily. That unit's going to route any second now. I can run them up to there, that's cool. They can then... Oh, they can't, but if I tell them, I can get them up here. I'm taking you off, Neil Fire, boys. What are you doing? You let me take you off, Neil Fire? Where are they running to? <laughs> what are you boys doing? Hold. No, they're on an agenda of their own. I'm not quite sure where the fuck they're going. I can't tell them. There we go. Here we go, I can line them up there. Even though I get shot in the back by them, but still it's fine. If they can form up there, then that would be a perfect flanking position. What are these boys doing as well? I swear they... They need to reform up that. Come on, do it quickly, boys. Do it quickly. Yeah, if I can start volleying into this, that would be very nice. But I need to... Actually, fuck it. I need to send everything here to go ahead and support this. But still, some volleys will not help. I mean, will help shock morale. Yeah, this will definitely help the morale. And still kill quite a few. But yeah, the reinforcements need to get here soon. ASAP. There's so much of my dead here. What has just gone on? This unit has just slaughtered everyone here. 
But yeah, these rifles are definitely earned my respect. Oh no, the general's coming at me, or I say the cab's coming at me. And now they've decided to go on their running spree again. Oh no, they're just deciding to shoot. This. <laughs> do, do actually kill the Saber Cab. Saber Cab are looking like nutters, though. But yeah, I think this is lost. But we still took down a hell of a lot of them. Oh, my shit just got blown up as well. And this unit's fucking invincible. I don't think, I think it's, they've glitched down. They're just killing everyone. For only sharpshooters, they shouldn't be that great in combat. And I'm just fighting their, their Sabre Cab now. Which won't last too long. I should die at some point. There's so much, so many horses here. That's ridiculous. Loads and loads of horses. Their General's in here somewhere as well. If I could kill him. Is that his General? No. I don't know. His General's here somewhere though. But this place has been shot the fuck up. But yeah, we've killed so many people. Let's just look at the dead. There's just so many. Like here... This is ridiculous. Oh, they can't really do much. They're fighting to the death, which is good enough for Jake. Taking as many as they possibly can down with them. If I think I could have actually won that. One, if I would have had artillery. Because look, if I would have fucking artillery strike that, that's pretty much a battle won. Um, yeah, if I would have had artillery strikes, I think I could have won it then. Or if I would have had, um, if I would have placed my troops better, I kind of sort of just did it half, half heartedly. But um, oh well. We can always take it back. We caused them quite a bit of damage with a few troops we had. So that is absolutely fine. And it's not, you know, they're not that extreme on very hard. I'm not putting on legendary, but you can you can suck a fatty if you think I'm doing that. Because that is not happening at all. Because I'll just die so quickly. Legendary is just an extreme. Which I'm not willing to face quite yet. I remember playing it when I, when I went for the first creative assembly day um, against... Uh, yeah, when I went to play Shogun 2 before it was released um, I played a campaign on Legendary like oh yeah I'll oh, show off to these guys about how good I am at campaigns and I got absolutely destroyed I think I lost in like 11 turns or something because I moved my army out thinking that they'd come face me and instead they just bypassed me and took my uh, one city so I was like oh okay and yeah I lost that <laughs> I lost, lost the campaigns like in, within like an, half an hour of playing which was kind of embarrassing Half these guys aren't even fighting. Kill them! There you go, turn around now, haven't made the boys with his samurai sword. Uh, well, I'm just gonna let um, let it, let them kill these units, it's taking forever, and I'll bring you guys it back, back on the campaign map. See you guys in a second. Yeah, so we actually killed quite a few of them. I mean, they only have well, like, a thousand men left, so we can easily mop that up with our army. But yeah, it was a bit annoying to lose that settlement, because it's just another couple of turns like of battle which we could have just easily avoided but oh well we killed quite a few no i do not want to make a peace treaty with you you scum i'm gonna wipe your civilization off of the earth that's what i am going to do uh province lost yeah i know sad times indeed and my army was crushed uh a loyal wife yes he can have a loyal wife uh, and uh, let's get my artillery actually in range for once. Uh, let's get our aim range. Let's give it a bombard. Is there no way we can get a range of that? That's just annoying. Oh, I got another full stack on its way. That's, that's annoying. Uh, yeah, let's, I guess, fight this. Um, and all we're going to do is sit back with our cannons on a hill. And then push in with our infantry. I guess. Because I need to take this quickly before that full stack comes and gets me. Because they have another full stack quite close. So yeah, we're going to sit on a hill. Bombard the fuck out of them with all our cannon shells. And then, um, yeah, and then just move in when they've only got a few units left. And finish them off. That is the plan. Num and hopefully it will be successful. Oh, the joys of cannons. They're so strong. So strong. Oh, and also the two episodes a day idea. Um, I'm gonna one day I'm gonna record two episodes and upload them. Um, both probably about thirty minutes and see how good a response that gets. And if it's good, then oh, I'll probably do it now and again. And if it's not, I just won't bother with it because obviously I can't do it every day. That'd be insane. Um, the amount of rendering and uploading time I'd have to do. But because I haven't got BT Infinity yet, I need to get BT Infinity. Thinking about it, 
uh, because that, the upload speed on BT Infinity is ridiculous. For like a two gigabyte episode, it's like 20 minutes, which is insane how quick it is. Okay, let's get our cannons up on this hill. <laughs> so many cannons. If only we had a naval bombardment to aid us in our advance. Aye, aye, sir. We'll split up a little bit, though. I don't want to be... Oh, actually, this could be quite a nice hill. Hmm. Yeah. Let's split up our cannons a little bit. And they can get up here. Yeah, that's nice. So they cannot hide from us. More. Today, sir, we attack. Today, sir, we attack. Let's get them up there. And we'll get the rest of the cannons up on this hill. It's quite a nice hill. To start bombarding them from. Oh, they've got some cannons. Oh, hello. What do you think you're doing? I have to kill them before they kill my cannons. Where are they hitting? Are they hitting my cannons? Oh no, they hit my infantry, but missing. Oh, they hit. They killed a man and a few. Actually, they actually killed quite a few. How upsetting. Oh, let's, let's bring them back a little bit then. I don't want to stay in range, really, of their rifle, or of their cannons. Try and avoid them best I can and hide back in the woods. These cannons almost set up. We'll get rid of our cannons straight away. Solely because it'll be annoying to deal with them. And then we shall turn our attention to the infantry and start hitting along the wall. So let's un unlimber these guns and then do the same to these bad boys. Hopefully, a tree's not in the way. I was thinking about that when I was choosing my position. No, that should be absolutely fine. So yeah, my, these parrot guns can start um, hitting their infantry. Well, actually, their general can taste my fire. And then um, these guns can start hitting their cannons. Just so we get rid of them, really. Because they're going to be hitting me by the looks of it. So let's have a cannon off. No, they're going to be hitting infantry. Oh, you can see my shrapnel shot, yeah. I'm actually hitting quite effectively as well. Yeah, we just need to make sure we get rid of these cannons, really. Because I don't want to have to fire against them. They're just annoying. Yeah, we killed quite a few there. Is that another cannon we got rid of? Oh, come on. Just get rid of the cannons. Oh, the general took a hella beating there. Oh, it's not even the general. It's just some saber calf. So where is the general? Where? For Alt Hill is over here. With some more cannons, we need to hit these cannons. The parrot guns will be doing the damage. So yeah, let's leave the wooden cannons. There's only a few of them operational now. Oh, we got three still operational. Or was that all of them? No, it's only three. Yeah. And we hit this uh, clump. Will be a lot more efficient. Oh, that was a nice hit. Well done. I mean, these could probably actually have a good range on killing these. Oh, hello, you come out to meet me? You alright, boys? Please do. Please, yeah, please do come out and meet me. I'm on some nice, really nice hills. I wonder how these guns are going to do against these. I'm not quite sure what they're doing, actually. Are they actually come out to meet me. That is perfect. Just tear on our attention, get the old shrapnel shot on, and start hitting these. And move our infantry up to the crest of the hill. <laughs> oh, what what bunch of fools. Oh, how, how, what are these guns hitting? Are they not? Hmm, yeah, let's start hitting these levy rifles. Actually, is that their general? No, that's just some saber cab. Where is their general gun now? Is that him here? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> My rifles are just getting up. Oh, hopefully we can kill him soon. Yeah, he's getting very low. He's done four men now. That was a very foolish decision by them. Hopefully I don't get any friendly fire going on with my cannons as well. That should be low enough. That should be fine. We're not going to come across the river either. A bit silly. I mean, that's clever even. Yeah, now I just rifles are taking a bit of damage. Let's get rid of this garrison infantry unit, as their general is very low, and should die to, um, yeah, he should die to 
rifle fire. Well, yeah, they pretty much just gifted me this. Oh, they got some sharpshooters there. No, yeah, sharpshooter, sharp shooters. Uh, with these bad boys, I'm going to. Have I? Oh, okay. Yay! We'll kill these quickly. Oh, not my general. He can. He can hold up there. Don't quite want to use him yet. But yeah, that's pretty much routed all of them without even losing a man. How delightful. Uh, let's kill this sabre cab quickly and then we'll try and clean up the rest of the infantry because I want to use up all my ammunition I know this, uh, tell me if this is boring by the way because if you want I'll just skip the uh, cannon firing fight um, but personally I think it's pretty awesome watching them just getting destroyed but if you want to see more rifle action please do go ahead and tell me but um, the reason that I'm not I'm being super newbie and camping on this is because they've, they've got another full stack so next episode when we fight that full stack that's going to be uh, quite a, a big battle, so we really want to be using uh, our. We want we want to minimise casualties. Really, that's my main uh, focus. Really, um, at the moment, is minimising casualties. What are they doing with their parrot guns? This is stupid. I'm not quite sure what they're doing. They're trying to retreat, but into my rifles is never really a good a good plan. And now my men are just going to kill them all. Yeah, we'll clean these up quickly, because I don't know what the parrot guns are doing. We'll give them a nice little volley or two. There we go. And they've received a shot from rifles, so we'll, we'll continue our focus on killing this levy infantry. And they're just taking so much fire from cannons, it's so ridiculously strong. Oh, you can imagine a shrapnel shot through here. There, hello. They just got absolutely bounced. And then we'll send in the, the, uh, the uh, Royal Marines to go finish them off as well. Yeah, they've, they've literally, are they just all routing or back to the city centre? Uh, that is just ridiculous. <laughs> How just five units of cannons can do that. In the campaign, cannons are very strong. Let's just stay that. Say that. I'm currently doing a carp campaign with one of my mates as well, and that's what I'm rushing towards, really, getting a decent cannon force. I'm not quite sure what they're doing. This is on very hard as well. They're being a bit silly. I guess... I, actually, you know, that's the point. Um, that's not stupid of the AI at all. They know if they, if they sit um, in the castle, they're just going to get shot. So they are actually doing being quite smart. And they are actually trying to push out and actually try and do something. Because, yeah, it'd be it'd be foolish if they just stayed in the castle. They have to try and take one of us out. Like one of my uh, cannon batteries out. But we'll finish off this tower just so I don't lose many casualties and then I'll, I'll run my way up. Um, so I should probably start moving some infantry up. Yeah, let's start moving these up and we'll burn the gate down. And yeah, our cannon should be, there you go, our cannon should be out of ammunition very soon. But they only haven't got many units left. Oh my god, they're just all dead. But these cannons are very much almost out. But we've only got two units left. Oh, I've got a few here, actually. We'll get these cannons to be hitting these lads, which are now routing. Yeah, they've gone. So I guess just hit the last few people here. As my Royal Marines move up. Or my Red Bears, really, move up. They can run up there. But yeah, these, this wall has been absolutely fucked as well. It'd be cool if it was a lot more steeper and you saw your men run up the wall. That'd be quite cool, like on the shaft or something like that. Like when the wall was blown up, you used to just run up it instead of having to climb it. I think that'd be quite cool to maybe in a little addition they could do or something like that. But it's still quite steep and it'd be quite easy for our men to climb up there. Their allies have forsaken them. Yeah, no wonder I would fucking uh, forsake them on after the bombardment this place has seen. This fortress has just been fucked up. That's actually the only word to describe it. It has absolutely been destroyed. And even the routing men are just getting pummeled. Yeah, look, there's just a path of death along here. Well, that's all good. Just leveling up my troops. Doesn't bother me whatsoever. Give them some nice target practice. Let's all stick them on Neil Fire as well, actually, thinking about it. So they can get a few more rounds off of the routing troops. <laughs> there's one man. Is he going to take the entire volley? 
Are you going to take the entire volley? Or are they not going to shoot? Oh, he escaped, he escaped. <laughs> Sad times indeed. Is that all my cannons now? We still got a few left. Yeah, they're out of ammo. And are these out of ammo? No, these are still shooting, that's all good. That one gun is has a little bit of ammo left just to finish these off. The what the twenty three and seven and the cannons. Which for some reason just glitched. I think maybe oh, I'm only wavering. Oh well the red bears. Oh no, that's my general one moving up. Don't wanna do that. Where are my red bears? Oh they're climbing now. Come on boys, climb that wall and try not to fall off. They're actually volleying me. Oh no, someone fell off. No. Sad times indeed. My Royal Marines as well, looking like badass as well. I wonder how good their stats are now. Yeah, 979 reloading speed, 84 accuracy. That's ridiculous. And melee attack is 18. I swear that's as good as Katana's wearing full. I mean, in just normal. They look so cool as well. <laughs> Sounding very British, which is even cooler. Our red bears are getting up there as well. Uh, and quite a few of them are actually falling off. Uh, yeah, they're all fine. Absolutely fine. Even though the cannons are all out of ammunition, it's all good. I swear that one's not actually. Uh, can we hit some of them? Yeah, why can't we still. Still got a bit of ammo left. And they can just volley them. Yeah, still got a bit of ammo left. Try and kill the cannons. There's not. There's hardly any of them left. <laughs> Surprised they're not running. Yeah, they're they're pretty much fucked. And um, my red bear's almost already up. I'll go ahead and spy them just to make sure they don't take it. Like they take as few casualties as possible. As they go ahead and kill the last few. There we go. That's inspired. So let's go ahead and stick them on that. And they can go clear clear this up. Oh, that volley hurt. I didn't even mean them for them to volley. I meant them to climb. Oh, come on. Finish them off, just so I don't have to. These cannons have been fucked up, though. So badly. Yeah, that cannon's not even... Where is the cannon? The cannon's here now, in the ground. Oh, it's just been destroyed. Um, yeah, red bears are climbing now. They should clean that up. Our British Marines are just sort of chilling. I didn't know what I was doing with these. I was going to send them in, but it doesn't look like there's any need to. So let's get them in a nice marching column. They can get a marching column and look cool. Whilst these red bears finish off this unit. And let's play it on triple speed. And watch our British units berate for us. Looking very cool. That does look so awesome. Does look very awesome. I love our red bears lost. Oh no, they pretty much killed everyone now. Just kill these levy, uh, line infantry. And then we'll kill the cannons, and then we should be absolutely done here after killing a lot of people and losing very few. No, then it's just, then it's just the. Um, then it's just that full stack we have to worry about. And when we've killed that, I doubt they would have actually have many units left. What? The general unit is here. Oh no, my, my parrot guns need to get out of there. My red bears need to quickly. Get to the walls to save them. Oh, it's some what? It's some right? It's some cannons. Okay, Let's fight the cannons. Cannon crew and cannon crew. Actually, no, we'll volley them. We'll give them a nice volley. After can we kill these on the way. There we go. Let's volley them a bit. How are they not dying? Are you serious? You're not gonna kill them as they move the cannon. Oh, that's just appalling. I guess they'll have to charge in then for honour and glory. And hopefully kill them. If I don't kill them, I'm going to cry. Because 30 of us and 4 of them. The odds should most certainly be in our favour. Map the wall and start volleying in. Why aren't you killing any of them? They're like invincible. They, they cheated. They got the invincible cheat. God damn it. 
Yeah, not one of them died. What is... There we go. That's what I like to see. Decisive victory. Strength and honour. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip the loading screen and bring it back to you guys when I'm actually... Yeah, so as you can see, we lost 63 men and killed... Uh, we killed 1,500. So, that... Oh, we killed that many. I'm not sure how they lost all them, but still. I think that was most certainly a very good victory for us. Uh, we'll go ahead and peacefully occupy, as we don't need to piss it off at all. And then, yeah, it is now our focus turns to really this faction. Well, we still need to clean this up, so we, we're going to still need to sort of send a detachment. I swear we're building some line infantry here. Um, yeah, we are actually building some line infantry here. We'll get a foreign guy so he can increase the um, recruitment space. I, I guess we'll get some cannons from here as well. Uh, we'll get some... How much more upkeep is that? It's only 20. We'll get a few more Armstrong guns. And we'll go ahead and stick that in the army. So we have two armies, which will be nice. Um, and then when we become our own faction, well, our own republic, we can then smear, move them off into different directions, which will be quite nice. Um, okay, just sort of development. That's done in two turns. So we'll go ahead and end the turn. And I probably, with this, I might end the episode because them two battles really took up quite a long time. Um, but yeah, first off, tell me if you guys want to see uh, me use my line infantry more. It will make it a lot harder. But, uh, and it uh, might not be as funny uh, just watching an get blown up, but I don't mind doing it because I know I'm using cannons quite a lot. Um, but to, to be fair, I am only using cannons uh, because I, I can't afford to lose that many men considering I'm fighting two people and my, ally, my allies aren't really helping too much. Um, but apart from that, yeah, so tell me that. Oh, oh, where's this? Yeah, I did just take it. That's fair enough to be pissed off. Actually, no, that's not where I just took boo on you um the gauge is built that's all built soon yeah so as i was saying um just yeah tell me tell me if you wanted me to use uh more more like uh more land battles more like rifles and shit like that so i got a bit confused a bit distracted even and also tell me if you guys uh want me to do a date like a weekly vlog uh, a weekly vlog i was thinking about doing one um, so yeah, go, uh, tell me if you guys want to see a weekly vlog. Uh, maybe some, sometimes it'll just be about two minutes long, sometimes it'll be a lot longer. But uh, yeah, tell me if you guys want to see that. And I want to try to get these, this fleet in range. Because it's really annoying that they're not, they can't get in range. Oh, if I put them in there, they might just be able to reach. But yeah, that's, that's all for the next episode. And yeah, it should, it should be quite fun um, defending that city against another full stack. So I guess we will have to wait and see for that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please, please keep on subscribing and I'll keep on doing this to my best ability. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I also built, built a lot more ships, so we have a fucking massive navy! Wee! Especially with the HMS Warrior as well. That's going to be insane. So yeah, bye-bye.